Hello everyone, my name is Cassiana and I'm part of the Information Lab TS33 cohort. Today we're going to learn how to um, use cross-join calculations in order to create a dynamic hierarchy filter. First thing you need to do is to create an Excel sheet with one column for your hierarchy of choice and another one for the associated dimension choice. You also want to add another column with one which will be used to create a cross-join calculation in Tableau. Then we will open uh, the Superstore data uh, and add the new Excel file in here at the connection and just do an, uh, a join in here. We're just gonna drag the new created sheet in here and do a very nice inner join. And in here, we want to use the calculation option to write one, okay? And then join with the ID field from uh, the new Excel file. Okay, so the logic behind this is that by giving each row a value of one and joining to the ID field in our Excel sheet that has a value of one, you will create an O2O relationship. So in other words, every row of sample superstore will be joined to every row of your Excel sheet. So, um, for example, here we can see that because we created the join, we have 101,940 um, 1, rows, but before we had 10,194 rows in 20 fields. So this is before the join. So we can see that we added more data in here. The next thing you want to do is to open a new sheet in Tableau and create a calculated field. Here, we're just gonna rename it to dynamic calculation and dimension. And here, we're gonna write this calculation. So case. So when category, then category, and then we're just going to copy and paste the first sentence and put the sentence for each uh, of the other fields. So this is how the calculation should um, look. Um, so just make sure you wrote the correct words so you will not have any errors in the future. Uh, after creating a calculation, you need to drag the calculations to rows in Tableau. So I'm just going to go and do it right now. And then we just need to put the cells into columns. Just sort this one. The send is in descending order and put the profit into color so that it will look more aesthetic. Okay, great. So we have now a very nice graph. Now, now we need to uh, put a filter. So I want to put a dim dimension choice in here. Okay, so we have the filter in here. Uh, I'm gonna select this as a single value list. And then I'm going to put this one to show only relevant values. And then I'm going to search for the um, hierarchy choice. And then show filter. I'm going to do the same single value list and only relevant values. And here we can see the final our results, we can select the hierarchy and dimensions in here. If you want to see the customer with the customer name, you can see that you have the option to select. Um, and 
if you want to sort the dynamic dimensions you can go here click on sort and you can either sort them uh, manual alphabetical uh, by field or by data source in here you can uh, sort them in the ascending or descending order and by field name what which one do you want and by aggregation also thank you for watching this video I hope you feel more confident in uh, using cross join calculations for dynamic hierarchy filters. And please check the description of this video for links um, to additional materials that you might find useful. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when we will release new videos from the information lab. Thank you.